Hey everybody, this is Grace. And as you saw, some of the flowers are blooming. Trees are about to. My uh, creep myrtles. And uh, yeah, that means I have allergies. It's allergy season. And uh, definitely, again, I should say, it just stays allergy season. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm not the only one. Yesterday, Adam started getting really worried. He said, I'm afraid I've got COVID-19 and he has the same kind of symptoms as I, and uh, he said that now he's definitely going to be more, um, you know, washing it more into do the whole hygiene thing of washing his hands and all. So, because it, it it scared him really bad. So we're watching his symptoms and such. Okay, I had to cut it off there because, sure enough, I started sneezing, and. Uh, yeah, if I sit out here for a few minutes, it calms down. It's been like that my whole life. And uh, But anyway, not only that, but he took the dog and Marmaduke, the old dog, and um, the puppy I nicknamed Mayhem. I think I nicknamed him Mayhem on the first day we got him. The puppy is now uh, almost as tall as Marmaduke. They're both uh, black lab mix. I call them Marmaduke black mac black lab mixed with bear b-e-a-r and uh the puppy is black lab and aussie uh, australian shepherd anyway he was walking them and uh the puppy saw a rabbit well adam winded up and the dog and marmaduke wound up um flat out on the concrete parking lot and adam and he said both on his chest and um, one of his knees, the left knee, like mine, well, he scraped, scraped it up pretty bad by falling on the concrete, uh, parking and area thing, driveway. Anyway, it's been one of those times lately, <laughs> yeah, and I don't remember what it was, but that same day, I, oh, I, uh, was washing dishes or something, and a lid, a huge lid to a big pot, um, frying pan, fell, and I have never known one, they're glass, you know, the top, I've never known one to break, that one shattered to a gazillion pieces all over the place, it was one of those days, it was for both of us, but anyway, what am I going to talk about today, I, I do want to do videos every once in a while, just kind of chit chat kind of things going on, um, and uh, and this morning I was thinking about comments again. I did a video uh, for my original channel mentioning this about comments, but I haven't made it public yet. I'm really good at not making things public yet. Um, sometimes I never do. I've been kind of catching up on old ones every once in a while. Some of them, like, and I see why I didn't make them public. <laughs> but, um, but I wanted to talk about a little bit about comments. Uh, it's the season, you know, and a lot of people are, you know, stay at home and um you know, shelter in place lockdown whatever you call it where you are and uh there's no true lockdown here in the united states you know i mentioned that in the other video uh, people want to say there is but there's not not that i know of, unless you of course you're in prison or jail or you know there's some big huge reason um that's but anyway Okay, I'll be pausing every once in a while like I always do. But yeah, um, I know I mentioned that about pausing in that last video. I wonder if anybody caught that. But um, I wasn't trying to make it a pun. But yeah, I have to pause every once in a while in my videos. I don't like them to go too long each clip because I've had that of uh, deleting it by accident and all that. And dropping the phone and it goes flying. It just did this morning when I was taking that first clip on this. Yeah, I took it more than once. So, this one time the phone flew and the other ones, yeah, just were sideways, you know, turned in the other direction. But anyway, with people, so many, you know, so many people at home, you got it. There are a lot more. I'm not having so much as the trolls as I'm having those people that I've known for six years, you know, almost six years, be six years in August. I started my original channel. The, the people who have channels, but they really don't have any of their own content, they have playlists. 
and they go to channels and they just it's a spam is spam and uh say great video i want to be friends or sometimes they just say great video it's often the same icon um but just different channels and um i block them you know myself i just block them and they'll come back with a different channel name but same icon and just they just lather rinse repeat you know and uh and i can see that because i have mine where i have my comments where i have to approve them before the, anybody else sees them and they'll still try because it'll show still show a number um, but it won't show that comment because I've hit, you know, blocked them, hidden them from the channel, whichever one. Um, but they they still try. <laughs> yeah. And I get a lot of them. I have more than one channel, so I get a lot of them. And uh, I block them. I know some people don't. Some people let them be there. Um, uh, and I've always wondered, what are they doing that? And I guess it's, I don't know. I don't know how playlists work as far as if somebody starts watching their playlist, do they get... Um, something from it I, I really don't know and uh, I know I've had playlists and the playlists don't really seem to do all that much so just my my view on it but yeah you know this seems like it's the season for that and I get a lot of comments I'd say a lot more comments on old videos really old videos and of course I'm not going to remember really old videos what I said in them and they'll say something about it as though I would, and I don't. And I've learned that people that do that, far too often, what they do is they do it on an old video, and then they try to start commenting on new ones, and their comments are going to be like they're bashing, they could be bashing somebody, somebody who had left a comment um, that actually they could see, or they tried to say something that is something I would not allow on my channel anyway. <clears throat> yeah, they try that, and uh, so I tend to block them, you know, if they can't put their, you know, and especially if they, it's just a channel that is, they, there, there's no content at all, you know, maybe I'm doing wrong there, but no, I've seen it too many times, you know, I'm, I, some of them I approve just to see what they try to do, and that's what they try to do, so, yeah. All right, in another one that's more that I have not seen until recently is that they try to put a time stamp in uh yeah a time stamp I don't check the time stamp to see what it's about but usually sometimes they say what it's about and no you know sis hiko sickos sickos yeah um you know just the nerve of people but they all get blocked <laughs> yeah whatever it is I don't even remember what it says uh, hide, um, hide from this channel or something like that. Hide comments on this channel. But like I say, some of them come back and try again. But, yeah. And I, I'm not a, a person who gets many, um, you know, troll kind of comments. I never have, really. Really, in six, almost six years? No. Um. But I do know that I had set my channel wrong, and I'm not sure how to fix it. But um, they, there used to be a discussion tab, and I don't know if there still is that people could comment. Um, I never really got into all that stuff, so I don't know. Whatever was said at the beginning. Uh, some of it I did get into, and you know, like, like this, where I, I don't let, allow anybody's um, comments to be seen until I see them, because... Yeah, I had some people that were trying, you know, crap at one time. I said, no way. And especially one of them. They, I still have a whole bunch of comments that I didn't approve on that one. But, yeah. Okay. And uh, I've mentioned before that I have all of these notes. And I do. That I had written, you know, thoughts I had about what kind of videos I want to make. And I would jot them down real quick. You know, something like the highlights and everything. And so I wound up over the years, I don't know how many, that I have these notes and these, yeah. And I've been trying, I've been trying for how long now to get through them. But in order to do it, I usually do a longer video. And one of them I just deleted, I don't know, maybe more. But I don't like the whole thing of editing them. Because I go back and listen to my 
videos so I could put in tags and see if I, you know, got anything truly, be, really wrong on it. Um, yeah, and I, I've noticed some of the things that I do, I tend to do, but I've already gone through all that. And I used to stutter and so forth and so on. And I tend to sometimes leave out letters. Like, in, instead of making it plural, I just make it singular. And I don't, I saw, heard that one in my last video. Don't know why I do that, but anyway. So I have some of the notes in here in my SUV. And some in my, I have a little tiny, you know, roll, roll top. Yeah, I think it's called desk. And uh, I have them in the little cubbies. Huh, but the, I have the topics, I, but I, like I said, I want to start switching a little bit on the topics. Um, I go through this every blue moon, as y'all know, uh, y'all, <laughs> I'm Texan, remember. But, um, you know, I'm wanting to change topics, and sometimes I do, and I found that some people are much more interested in these different topics. But it's usually because that's what's on my mind. I mean, I, my degrees are in psychology and sociology. I, I don't know just one thing. Or, or one cluster, the, just the cluster B kind of thing. But like I mentioned, as far as the um, DID, Dissociative D Identity Disorder, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. That uh, that one I do not know that much about. Because as I've said, I just wasn't all that interested in it. I just didn't really believe in it. And it was something, you know, so I don't know. This That one to me sounded a bit like it was... I don't know, believing in something that wasn't too scientific, I guess. And if I'm studying something that's very scientific, yeah, I don't want to mix the two. I guess that's what it was. You know, it was years ago. But, uh, and some of the things, when I first started this channel, what I wanted to do more was, you know, take, like, everyday ways that, you know, people, call, you know, like, put a label on something like this one I'm having I have in my hand right now is I jotted down egomaniac. Now the people used to call, you know, some people used to call other people egomaniacs. And I wanted to try to take those and talk about those, but in the, the you know, whether whatever content, whatever it was more under that umbrella. And uh, I did it for a long while. See, I'm losing my voice. I'm going to try not to lose my voice. <laughs> yeah. I haven't had my morning caffeine either. So, anyway. Um, so, you know, egomaniac. I wrote that down. Um, I, and these are some of the notes I wrote under. It was, let me see my little highlights here. Uh, I don't have my readers on, so let's see. Uh, bruise their egos. Some call it narcissistic injury. Now, okay, we all know that, don't we? <laughs> Maybe not. I'm losing my voice again. All right, try it again. Okay, I guess um, egomaniacs. Yeah, and this is what some call narcissistic injury. You know. Okay, and I wrote down thinks the world of themselves. Thinks the world of self is what I wrote. And I mentioned somebody that I remember. It was a guy I went to school with, and uh, when I was a child, and this was so. This was more my first uh, experience with it. And it was my first, I guess. Um, it was a guy I went to school with. And there was nothing really special about him, but that he seemed a little bit of a... Uh, um, how to put it nicely? <laughs> For some reason, the word dolt came to mind. I don't even know what that word means anymore. He was a dolt. But he was more like... A, he just wasn't that smart. But he was extremely flattered by himself <laughs> that's the way to put it <clears throat> he just thought he was the the bomb the it the everything you know to everybody but mainly he was just so much about himself you know that he he obviously didn't care what other people thought of of him because he would do things that were quite embarrassing and uh you know, to himself, and other people would notice it, and they were kind of like, why don't you just chill and stop acting like an idiot, you know? And so I just thought he was kind of humorous. 
that he was doing this on purpose to be humorous, but I think that was a narcissist in training. Seriously. I, I read across him as an adult, uh, and he was still the same way, but just getting better at it. Yeah. And he his, his ego was just so, you know, he was so proud of himself about things that he shouldn't have been. Nobody saw that. No, nobody I knew would see that he should feel pride, you know, pride in himself for what whatever it was when he shouldn't. Like I said, he shouldn't. But it wasn't like he earned anything. Like he actually, you know, did something to earn that. He just felt that it was, you know, it was something he deserved for recognition. And when you read that about narcissistic behaviors, you know, in the DSM, it's in there somewhere, but anyway, okay, so anyway, I wrote down the question, you know, because of it starts early in life, it's a question, yeah, um, I don't think, from what I've read, they, they don't really put children in with this, okay, um, but personally, I've worked with a lot of children over my life, and, uh, it kind of stands out. Like I said, my my experience as a child with other ones, you, and you could see it. Um, this kind of behavior, they're developing it. And when you get older, you see them like that, that one with this guy was at a uh, class reunion. I don't know which one, but I ran across him again. And yeah, and you can see it. You can see it developing. And then when you run across them later in life, like I just said, um, it stands out. So, but I guess there are all kinds of reasons they don't, you know, diagnose them as children. Uh, that's the developing years, whatever, the lots of reasons, but, yeah. Okay, let's see. What else? Okay, and I wrote, is it learned or nature nurture? You know, I think that's a big question a lot of people ask or a combination. You know, when I was studying, we, um, when I was a career student way back then, a lot of questions were, you know, we that question was often posed. Is it nature, nurture, both? Um, but there was something else that they were starting to study besides just nature, nurture. I cannot remember. It was mentioned, I think, in one class. And I cannot remember what they added on to it. Yeah. If anybody knows, let me know. Anyway, that's all I wrote on those notes. Okay, maybe while I'm out here, I might as well, instead of just chit-chat, maybe I go through some of these notes because it truly bothers me. <laughs> yeah. I have so many. But like I said, I haven't had my morning caffeine, so let's see how much sense they make. This one, I, I was starting to do some videos. I remember, um, when was that? Sometime last year, maybe, about um, gossip. Is it all gossip bad? It just depends on, you know, it's got, the word gossip has such a negative connotation anyway. <clears throat> but it just depends on what it is. And if you put that word on something, that really isn't gossip. You know, like, just, people just need to know what's going on with somebody because that way, you know, like if somebody, I don't know, has had some kind of bad thing happen to them and you don't want to, you know, commit a faux pas, you know, or something whenever you run across it, people say, you know, that person had this happen, so let's not mention that topic. You see what I'm saying? So some things aren't really gossip. You know, malicious gossip is a totally different story. So and I, and I was doing a whole series on, <laughs> on gossip back then. And this is the last one I had. <clears throat> and, I, of course, I don't remember why I wrote these comment, these um, notes, these highlights. But I put bad was take anger out on others and good is to warn others. Yeah, okay. That's easy. Uh, meant, and also when it's meant to change the other. Yeah, in a way, I guess it could be. <laughs> yeah. uh, when somebody's got some bad behaviors. But I remember a time whenever there was some kind of peer pressure for people to be not so narcissistic. And then we seem to become a world that... Um, you know, it's so, um, so individual that, you know, too many people are so individual and, um, too, you know, very independent 
of one another. More of this whole selfie kind of thing. And a lot of people being online and they're not having the social interaction that is needed for, you know, to do, even develop like a looking glass self. And to change their own behaviors, to work at their behaviors, to where they are more um, you know, concerned with others on how others will see them. And some say that's a good thing, some say, say it's not. Okay, and then there's this, I wrote, um, let's see, what did I mean by it? They think their prey is without any recourse. Mm, okay. And uh, they can't be a hypocrite. Easy to cross that line. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I wrote down ostracize, setting norms, punishment, and share values. All right. So, oh, these allergies are getting to me, so I have to pause it again. Okay. Yeah. The allergies are getting to me, but, um, yeah, you know, not all gossip is bad. Not all that what some would put the word on it, it's gossip. So, therefore, it's not bad. But, yeah, you know, people need to keep up with people. People need to know what others are doing, what's going on. If Just for development. Um, so many things that have changed. And I, I think this, you know, with what's going on in the world today, uh, today is what... I think it's May 13th, 2020, that, I don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm curious how this is going to turn out, because, yeah, you know, with so many people being, so much of it being different, social distancing and all. <laughs> okay, which leads me to another one, if I can stop sneezing and coughing. Uh, I just picked up, and had put it in my hand when, when I was saying that. By so much being online these days, um, more and more, one thing we have to be glad that there is so many people can work from home. You know, seriously, there are people out there working and they're, they're keeping the economy going. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're essential workers. Or they're not. They don't have to be essential workers to work from home. You know? Think about it. Anyway, what I picked up was something about online dating. I did that. I did it, yeah, and that was horrible. You want to talk about predators? And I did more than one service, used more than one service, um, met different types of guys, and uh, yeah, I only dated men, so I can't say what. I only date men, dated men back then, but period, <laughs> my whole life. I'm not interested in women, in other words, to date or be in relationships with, so that's all I knew. It wouldn't be male bashing because I did not date women. But the men that I ran across were definitely, I would say all of them, were predators. Yeah. They were out for, yeah. And it wasn't only one thing. Some of it was they're out for somebody who has money. They, apparently they thought they were gigolos. You know, something like this. Seriously. Uh, they wanted, some of them, they wanted to see how much money a woman would add to their portfolio or what she would add to it. It was bad. Now, like I said, I didn't date women, so I don't know how that would be on that side. Um, and then I wrote, anyway, I'm looking at my uh, notes, and I wrote that about predators. Then there was also this whole group. I was, hundreds of people that I was a member of, that was well, um, way back in the, when was it? Somewhere in the 1990s. Yeah, and it was just a group. You know, we had a local BBS, and uh, people met, and it was hundreds of people. And I found out through them, I was married through most of that and separated f for some of it. But I found out from, from some of these guys that the guys actually had this, what they called a tree. Okay, and it was basically, they would put on it um, when they hooked up, I'm going to put it nicely, hooked up with a woman. They want to see how many could, yeah, you get the gist. It was bad. I found out about that, yeah. And, you know, it, it was just, that was really when it was starting to develop and all. And, like I said, a lot of predators. And, um, anyway, I won't go on there. Uh, I wrote about love bombing. Yeah, I don't know why I wrote, they wouldn't wait. I don't know. Let's see. Threats start quickly, fast. Uh, these are just notes I'm reading from whenever. And, uh, yeah, 
And also, another thing that I noticed that the men wanted was free counseling. Seriously, I don't know if they did this to other women. I didn't know, you know, some women who had dated, and they had terrible experiences. Uh, you know, did the online dating thing. And uh, mine, the, what I noticed the most was, you know, one of the most, besides the money and all, you know, was uh, free counseling. They, and they, they wanted to bash their exes, whether it was ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, ex um it both <clears throat> they just wanted to bash them that told me more about them than it did about to me more about the guy than it did about anything else and it would turn out to be true if i even let it go you know past just that first time usually didn't but uh like they'd call and you could see that they just wanted for counseling they wanted to talk bad about other ones and some say that it had nothing to do with counseling but no they i, I would agree that some of it was just a game that's how I always thought, felt like they had a, they all had the same script. They would just hand out the memo. This is what we're going to try this time. <laughs> of course it wasn't, but it's often felt like that. But also, there, you know, with that whole thing, there was no community. When I first started one service, I'm not going to name what it is, but it's, it was a ra rather popular one because it was free. Um, I did pay ones, too. But the free one, yeah, they... They started off where women could talk to other women and men could talk to other men, but then they took that off. And when they did, there was certainly no community because some of the women um, would warn other women about guys. So they, they took this off, that, that ability for women to contact another woman, to see their profile, all that. So there was no community. There was no accountability. You see what I'm saying? And, uh, let's see. And then also, I mentioned this, you know, wrote this note about, not mentioned, but wrote this note about, uh, restaurant telling staff puts them in danger to whirlwind. I don't know. But, yeah, you know, like, I remember back then I was, I would think that, um, you know, if a guy got really weird when I had had that experience more than once, uh, while meeting at a restaurant, you know, at a public place, and a lot of people that, to, uh, you know, like, get up, excuse yourself to go to the restroom, and then tell the staff, you know, if that guy follows me, call 911, you know, or something like that. Now, <laughs> I wrote this, that it could uh, put the staff in danger, too. Yeah, I guess that's something that people have to debate themselves and that a whirlwind yeah the, the relationships these too many of these guys wanted to have war, whirlwind but yeah you can uh all kind of figure that one out i guess so okay maybe that's enough for this because <clears throat> i'm losing my voice <laughs> it's enough for this video i haven't had my caffeine and i'm not on camera because of the puffy eyes this thing that one gets me because i look in the mirror and i don't have puffy eyes you know underneath puffy like allergies but my eyes are itching uh because of the allergies so i don't know anyway yeah maybe i've rambled enough just kind of chit chat get some of the things out you know and but i do want to go back to talking more about um did and you know multiple, what was known as multiple personalities now i haven't you know read enough i haven't studied it enough you know refresh your course kind of thing yet uh, to see how it was, at least in the um, DSM, I haven't mentioned and I have mentioned in my description, it's uh, the four TR. I don't have the five, um, but you know what was ch changed into that? What changed and was put into that one um, about this? I know from what I understand that there was more than under DID than just the multiple personalities, and that's what I want to focus on is that of the multiple personalities and not so much the rest the rest of it but like i said i haven't studied enough of it I, i'm taking it slow older brain working here you know than i was when i was a student so um taking it slower and writing my notes i'm doing more notes than i ever have before these days because of that and i also have found one research that i thought you know one research article that i thought was interesting and i haven't read that yet but by the time I finish reading, I'm over that topic. <laughs> but I also want to do one thing like I was saying earlier. Okay, nosy neighbor, just move on. 
but um yeah real life happens in the little video but yeah you know i wanted to um go back to that about people that are delusional um you know more about th that yeah people like that one and also the, for a while i did uh, someone avoidant personality disorder voices going out here <clears throat> and um People like that one, too. You know, persecutory. Oh, now I'm not going to be able to say it. Uh, persecutory. Yeah. Delusions. Things like that. And so I've been writing notes. Let's see if I return to those. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up because, yeah, there's always going to be a nosy neighbor. And, you know, nosy neighbor sometimes is good. It's a good thing. Yeah. But it's annoying. Especially when they drive behind you and... Just pause and look up. <laughs> Seriously, some of them come out of their house just to sit, sit there and stare and see what am I doing? Am I sitting in my SUV? You've seen it once. Okay, you can be curious. After that, stop being curious. And stop being nosy. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because I have rambled through the whole thing. And that's my norm. Talk to you all in another video. Bye.